Hello, people of the internet. Here is uh, Mega Man Zero Three. Welcome back. Um, in the last part, we uh, might have accidentally let a rocket hit a residential area or something like that. But um, anyway, for this part, there there are more New Yorkian troops going around, and we want to get rid of them, obviously. And uh, yeah, but first to prepare for that stuff, I'm gonna need to upgrade Zero for my cyber elf, for my cyber elf stuff. Uh, in this game, they made it really easy to use Cyber Elves. You don't need to talk to Seal anymore. It's it's easier. You can just do it whenever you want. Upgrade them Cyber Elves. And there you go. Just like that, I doubled my health. Yeah, so now I have double health. Shouldn't die as often. But anyway, let's, let's start our next mission. Whatever that is. Cough. Burp. Now these guys might look a little bit familiar. Um, if you ever watched my Mega Man Zero. <laughs> Play through. That was a while ago, wasn't it? Oh well, back to this. Uh, anyway, for, we're gonna be doing them in order. Um, so the first one we're gonna do is in the Twilight Desert. So yeah. Is this one Anubis or whatever its name is? And yeah, here we go. Thank you. See you around. All right, we're in the desert. Uh, this music might sound familiar to you guys if you had heard it maybe before in the Mega Man Zero Two or the end of Mega Man Zero One, but I don't know. Uh, maybe it's just me. But anyway, this level is pretty straightforward. There's desert. There's desert. Crashed airplanes it might look familiar to you too. Oh, there's a golem in the background from the first boss, and a whole bunch of broken stuff for some reason. And bombs. Don't run into the bombs. So, uh, that right there is quicksand that I just stepped through, but you can't tell because I'm wearing the green the green armor chip, and that makes me not fall into stuff like that. The light chip. So I'm light now. I was about to make a Dr. Light joke, but I can't think of any. And then, in the stage, there's a few mini-bosses. And they're these little worm looking things, and they come from the sand, and you gotta attack them. And yeah, it's <laughs> pretty self explanatory. But they come out with the sand, and you just slash them, I guess. Just do the do. And then just hit their little projectile rock things, and then watch out for those things that fall out of the sky. So you don't get hit, obviously. I'm not sure what the thing's weakness is, but um, I'm using electric because it looks cool when you can shock them. But whatever, uh, we got it. And I don't know why I'm singing in this quicksand. Oh wait, I just done equipped the armor. Oh well, whatever. So we're gonna continue on. Watch out for more of those things falling from the sky, and might see some of these chip things. You have to jump on these walls like really precise. Real precise with your precision controller or whatever. There's a full health container up there that I somehow missed. I'm really great at platforming, huh? Six years of playing Mega Man, and this is what I get. Oh, and there's another chip up there, but I think I need the double jump ability to get it. Or maybe I can get it now, I don't know. No, I'm just gonna edit ahead to see if I can get that. I don't know. Here, back. In the near future. Okay, so if I don't get it this time, I'm, I'm just gonna quit. Oh, oh. But there you go. You know what? I'll, I'll just get it later when I get the double jump or something. I don't know. Is that airplane look familiar to you, anybody? Hey, look, there's a jeep in the background. I didn't know they had these uh, ancient cars in here. Oh well. So we took down. The, there's a few helicopters in this stage, I think. Just like that uh, desert stage in Mega Man Zero One. Huh any similarities there. Oh, what's this? Another chip that I can't barely reach? Okay, here we go. I'm gonna try. There we go. I did it. I did it, guys. Woohoo. First try. Not third try, really, but whatever. I think we have another one of those worm mini-bosses coming up. Maybe after this helicopter. Or, you know, maybe not. Maybe maybe there is no helicopter after this part. Anyway. These, these helicopters, they obviously... They deploy the uh, blue guys, whatever they're called. Pantheons? 
And then they also shoot out missiles. And how about that? That's a familiar looking helicopter in there. In the back, isn't it? Oh well. Here's the boss fight. You might look familiar if you had watched my Mega Man Zero One playthrough. But um, all he's gonna say is he's been summoned from the dead by Lord Wyle. Because Lord Wyle can do that stuff. And now he wants me to die. So. Not gonna let that happen. It's not like I'm that bad at Mega Man. But anyway, here you go. So, strategy in this one is basically the same as it was in Mega Man Zero One, but um, this dude's an electric type now. I'm not sure what he was in the original. Oh, I didn't know he can do that. I guess he can move the ground. But he's an electric type now, and he has these these um, sarcophaguses instead of the pillars that he ri um, makes rise from the ground. Makes rise from the ground. Is that proper? Oh well, whatever. So yeah, pretty much the same attacks and stuff. Just use your ice fully charged charge shot with your ice um, slash thing, like with your ice chip equipped. You know what I'm saying. And then uh, you should be able to get him just like that. Well, unless you miss a whole bunch and your health is like really low. But anyway, I will enjoy viewing your torment from the, my grave below. Well, um, um, can you really watch me if you're dead? Oh well, whatever. I mean, you're a robot. Oh well. Back to the game thing. Transferring. Two. One. Shavoof. Transfer complete. Thank you, Zero. Now that they are without a leader, the Neo Arcadians in that area have retreated. Thank you so much. Alright, let's, uh, let's do another area. I mean, but first, let's, let's upgrade our HPs a little bit. Why don't we? Make our hit points even higher. So, uh, even if you do the double your HP, um, Cyberl first, it just makes it the same as if you did the that one last or something like that. The math doesn't really work if you think about it. Maybe it does, actually. I didn't really think about it. Never mind, forget it. <laughs> anyway, next level. We're in a forest now, so there was a forest in Mega Man Zero Two. It's kinda like that. Okay. Transfer Swoop. Zero. So anyway, uh, yeah, this is a lot like the first, or that forest Mega Man Zero 2. There is, let's see, there are those bee things, you can burn down the, the, the leaves and the trees. Yeah, very, very similar. And then there are secrets up there and the trees that you could burn down. I mean, robot trees, so it's fine. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, um... Keep going. I, I take this route. It's easier. I'm not sure what's down there. I, I always go this way. But, uh... Yeah. This level is very similar to that first that one from Z Zero Two. So, you shouldn't really have a problem with that first part. You got through Zero Two. And then this part is a little bit different. Um... So there are these buttons, and then, but when you let go of the buttons, or the weight is taken away from the buttons, then the walls start to fall down, and we don't want that, because then we'll get crushed. Now when you have this new, our new weapon, the something, triple rod, or whatever it's called, I can push these blocks onto the buttons to make it so that the walls will never fall back down, unless you move the block again somehow. Yeah, that's, that's that. And then there are these annoying bat things that drop out of nowhere. Cough. And then keep going. And, uh... This next part is pretty difficult, I guess. There's some items that you can get. Some neat items. But like I said, they're pretty hard to get. So that makes that platform go all the way down. But you gotta kind of rush like that and try to get it, obviously, because item hunting. 
And then there's this. You're trying to move it all the way over here so you can get to this side. But you know what? I'm going to edit this real quick so you don't have to see me attempt this out too many times. So yeah, here we go. So as you can see, I made it past there, and uh, I, I actually don't know why I got that went through that way. I don't see any items, really, but whatever. So there's definitely an item up here that you can get. Um, there, first, there's this chip here that I just totally failed to get. You know what? Let me let me fast forward this again. There we go. So you push that that block all the way over there, grab the chip, go up here, and hold down this button. And this, this part is kind of weird. You want to get that E-tank up there, the sub-tank, as uh, Mega Man refers to it. But then you also want to jump onto that wall while it's still over there, while you can jump to it. Which is actually really difficult because the, the timing and that, that wall, wall cannon thing <laughs> keeps coming back. So yeah, it's, it's pretty difficult. Let me, let me fast forward you real quick into the future so you don't have to witness um, my failure to do puzzle here. Alright, so I'm finally there. Finally, and I got the sub tank, so this is nice. There's that um, chip up there. I, I don't think I can get it. You know what? Later in the game, I'll just come back with my double jump, maybe get some of the upgrades. I'm not trying to 100% this or anything. I just. I'm just playing. I'm just doing a little playthrough, but... Uh, so we're at the boss now. You might remember this monkey. He was attacking the original resistance face in Z1. And he sounded weird. He was like, cha cha or something. <laughs> cha, cha Oh, oh well. So, uh, th his fight is a little bit changed up this time. So, uh, he's got this attack where he turns into a little, uh, fiery ball of death here. And he can actually destroy these blocks. But the thing about this fight is you can also destroy those blocks, I think, if you use the... What, what was it called? The triple rod. Or, or maybe not, I don't know. But I, I'm pretty sure you can. But whatever. So, he's bou like bouncing into these walls and destroying all the blocks in a row. I'm not sure what happens if you get down to the bottom. But, oh wait, it's just floor. But whatever. It's probably harder to fight him. I never I never let him get that far. And there we go. <laughs> Simple charge shots. They do like a lot of damage. And then he just called me the O Ancient God of Destruction. I wonder what that could mean. Cough cough. Cough wheeze. <laughs> anyway. Um, so, I think we have time for one more stage. We might as well finish all three of them. All three of these, um, throwback things. <laughs> I don't know what to call them. Anyway, I hope I'm doing the right episode here. If I'm not, that'd be really disappointing. Because, uh, what, what I do... Oh no. Okay, false alarm, guys. False alarm, um, I thought I already did this part for some reason, I, I just came to a sudden realization that I already did this part, but luckily I did not, because I've spent about the last half hour working on this <laughs> video here. Oh man. Okay. Never mind. it's all good. Anyway, we're taking on this last stage, um, in these, these maverick, or not mavericks. What are they called? Bosses? These section of the game. And, uh... Yeah, there's a lot of water parts with these huge Pantheon versions. And, uh, yeah, if you have the double jump, and you can go a lot higher, obviously. <laughs> um, but I don't have that. You might be able to get all the way up there. There's these fishies, and you can just, you can just dash through this entire section right here. I mean, I have the more HP, so I don't really have to worry about anything. Mm. So, yeah, keep going. And... Yeah, this, this section's pretty simple. You just do dash through. Most of the little fishies drop items. Um, usually little health, or little... Whatever the currency in this game is called. 
E crystals. Okay, actually, that's the only thing that enemy drops. So, never mind. But they usually drop stuff so you can heal yourself. It's not that hard to get past this section of the stage. Now the, uh, I'm still in water for some reason. Until I go out this door, maybe. Oh, no, nope, still underwater. Anyway, uh, I'm, I don't remember what this mission is about. I wasn't paying attention. I was too worried about, um, me wasting time making videos. Sorry if that sounded weird. Anyway, um, had I gone the upper route, I would have come in this way. But I kind of go through and this way anyway to get the, some hidden secret discs. That's what they're called. And, uh, yeah, these are the same freeze, freezing things from Zero Two. So, yes, yeah, the door that we would have come in from. These freezing things, they freeze you, and it's not good, usually. Because, um, you know, nobody wants to be frozed. Anyway, um, so I just got the power-ups from there. But you could have just gone, kept going to the right. I don't know my directions. You see that? Uh, you could have just kept going to the right, and don't remember what's next in this part. Okay, so there's just the secret disc, and then I don't think we're at the boss yet, uh, unless we are. I don't think so. Okay, okay, yeah, we keep going, and there are these ice skull things, they fall from the ceiling, and then they form again after a little bit. So yeah, and that grab some stuff. This section's also pretty chill. <laughs> ha ha ha. <laughs> okay, whatever. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. So, uh, yeah, this is pretty simple and easy and just a little test of your skills. My only concern would be to watch out for these spiders because those balls that they shoot out do bounce around the spiders on the ceilings and these cannon things because those balls are pretty annoying. But anyway, I think we're almost done with this stage. We should be anyway. I don't, I don't even know. But, yeah, it's not much to say about this stage. So... Okay, we're already at the end. <laughs> and here is boss fight number 03. Hmph, I am impressed that you made it to this base. Still, I cannot dishonor Lord Wild. I'll just have to freeze you now. Hmph. <laughs> oh well. So yeah, this, this boss is pretty much the same from Mega Man 01. Not much to say about him. Uh, I don't think he has any new attacks. I don't know. I haven't played Z Zero One in a while. But yeah, I, I just hug, hug this wall here and then slash him whenever he comes over. It takes off like a fourth of his health, I guess. Like a lot of his health. And then the triple slashes, they also work if you're not fully charged. But you have an opportunity. Uh, so yeah, he's already pretty much dead. But when you get in that freeze ray thing, it doesn't actually make you damage. <laughs> but it does slow you down. And he doesn't actually say anything about Lord Wile or Zero's origin. Oh, spoilers, sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's it. That's, that's it for the day. So, yeah. Pretty... Just a little in-between missions there. This is, this is one of the reasons Z Zero Three is my favorite, because uh, it has a lot of stages, like a lot. Um, also, I like the story more, you know, especially the uh, cough cough plot twist, cough cough at the end. You, you probably won't see it coming. I, I like it. It's probably the best story of the cough. It's probably my favorite story in the Mega Man games. So yeah, that's, that's why Mega Man Zero Three is my favorite. But I'll say that till the end. Um, but speaking of the end, this this video is about to end. The the the, the, the footage is about to cut. So uh, yeah, goodbye, people. Peace, peace and sheep. <laughs>